R.L. Stein doing Man Thing is dream casting. You know, he has a patented uh, brand of, of horror, and he's bringing that to one of the more beloved horror characters. I, I mean, it's a swamp monster. You can't get better than that. Man Thing was Ted Salas, a brilliant scientist who was creating a serum for the army to make an impossible warrior. And then he decided it was too good a serum and he didn't want the army to have it. The only way he could prevent the army from having it was to inject it into himself. Unfortunately, there was an accident. It got mixed with water and horrible things happened and he turned into this beast. Maybe Marvel's ugliest character. So I think Arl Stein and, and Man Thing work really well. It's a great marriage because there is uh, there's a certain amount of tragedy and a certain amount of horror to Man Thing. Man Thing can't touch people without having them burst into flame because you can't not be afraid around Man Thing. He is the epitome of horror itself. There are moments when he starts to become a monster and he loses his self awareness, and we know that there's this ticking clock where he's going to turn back into a mindless monster. What Earl Stein is doing with Artist Roman Peralta is a classic Marvel comic book story that also has the flavor of one of those old um, vintage horror stories from back in the day. You know, the, the kind of horror story that you saw on TV in black and white. Uh, it feverish, creepy, but ultimately very fun. It's a very basic horror character. This thing rising up from the mud. This hideous, terrifying thing. It's creepy. It's gross. It's scary, but it's fun.